Game of Thrones is known for delivering truly awe-inspiring episodes of television. Matt Shackman was behind one of those episodes, specifically the spoils of war. Fans may remember it as the episode in which Daenerys Targaryen, played by Amelia Clark, and her dragon, Drogon, take on Jaime Lannister, Nikolai Coster Waldo, and his formidable army. Shackman, whose previous work includes episodes of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and Psych, wasn't known for directing big action set pieces. But the prospect of working on such a beloved show didn't really face Shagman. He was more excited than anything. They make you sign all these NDAs before you get your script. Then they deliver the scripts to you and it's like Christmas morning, he told Golderby. So I'm reading through and I get to the loot train battle. I'm flipping page after page after page. And it's still going on. I began to realize the test that was ahead of me and also the opportunity. As a director, you live for the opportunity to work on that level and that scale. But also you're bringing this big action sequence to life that has all these wonderful characters that you've loved for years coming together for the first time, he said. So it's unusual that it's not just about Transformers tearing up a city, but it's got real heart and emotion at the center of it, he finished. Shagman earned a Director's Guild Awards nomination for his episode, The Spoils of War. It was also considered for an Emmy yet didn't end up being nominated. His episode has also gone down in the television history books. The loot train attack sequence set a record for the most stuntmen ever set on fire. At one point they had 20 stuntmen all win fire at once, with 73 men were set on fire in total. We didn't set out to break a record. It sort of just happened, Shagman admitted. A battle like that, especially when you have a big visual effects dragon, can quickly become something that feels unreal. I wanted it to always feel particularly visceral. It also is one of the most dangerous stunts you can do people on fire, there's nothing more visceral than that. It sure sounds dangerous, and it all resulted in one of the most memorable TV moments ever. Despite not having directed any of the episodes in Season 8, Shagman did say that he knows bits and pieces of what's to come. Fans are now wondering how writers will top Season 7 specular action and drama. But he remained tight-lipped on that front. Game of Thrones will return to Sky Atlantic in 2019.